Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about Hund's principle. So Hund's principle states that no electron pairing takes place in a certain sublevel unless that each orbital contains at least one electron. So what does this mean? This means that if we have a sublevel, say P, and electron pairing is having a pair of electrons, means have two electrons. We know that the P contains three orbitals, which are the Px, the Py, and the Pz. So having two electrons is like that. One upwards and one downwards. One rotating clockwise and one rotating anti-clockwise. So, for example, if there is an atom and the P sublevel contains three electrons, so that we have three orbitals. How will the electrons be arranged in here? Would they be like that? Or like that? This is also wrong. And this is also wrong. The right arrangement is like that. Because it's preferable from the energy point of view to let an electron be in a in an orbital alone without pairing with another electron. Because even if both electrons have different rotating uh, dimensions, this rotates clockwise and this rotates anti-clockwise, there will be a repulsion force. They will repel because they have the same sign. Both of them is negative. So there will be a repulsion. So it's preferable for the electron if there is an empty orbital that it goes to this orbital rather than pairing with another electron. And uh, it's preferable also that all the electrons in the sublevel rotate if, if each one of them is, find, is found independently in each orbital that it rotates, that all of them rotate in the same direction. So all of them rotate clockwise. So, if we have a fourth electron here, what would happen is we knew that the order of the uh, orbitals is 3p, then we have 3s, 3p, then 4s, then 3d. So, if there is an electron and um, it's allowed to it to go to the 4s or to the 3d, the preferable um, energy point of view is to go to the lower energy level, even if it will pair with an electron, rather than going to a higher energy level alone. So, two points here. An electron would go to an empty orbital in the same sublevel rather than pairing with another electron and if the electron is to go to another energy level higher in energy than this sublevel and there was only a place here to pair for the electron and the higher energy level was empty it would rather pair in the lower energy level then go to the higher empty energy level. So uh, now we knew the Aufbau's building up principle and we knew the Holmes principle. So now we are capable of writing the electronic configuration. We now know how the electrons are arranged in the orbitals of the sublevels. So the next time 
we will know some methods of writing the electronic configuration and till then I thank you for watching and see you.